Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I figured we would go over the December daily. There's three days left in the book that haven't been decorated because so far I've done everything with you guys. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish the rest of the days in the allotted time, but I'm going to do my best. And if I don't, then I'll just go ahead and finish up the last day or whatnot. And, um, we'll just do like a final flip through or something like that. I mean, we'll do a final flip through anyway, but, um, Sorry, I was like, I saw that and I was like, ooh, pretty. So anyway, we'll do a final flip through anyway, but just in case um, I don't finish it, I will go ahead and finish it and um, like show everybody in the final flip through. So this was actually done with art glitter glue and it's acetate um, and it's really not bad at all, except that it peels right off of the acetate okay well um it was nice while it lasted as long as you don't touch it i think it'll be fine i was actually just curious as to whether or not because everybody ra like raves so much about the art glitter glue and how great it is um and it is it is great but i think that it has the same issues with plastic that uh, just about every other glue um, known to mankind has. This is just some double-sided tape. It does seem to be the best I have personally found. You can see it through the acetate, but you're going to have to work to peel it up. Like... Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just use this to glue the rest of this down because it's out. And why not, right? We've got it. We should use it. Excuse you. Stay. So anyway, um, I really hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season. I personally had a blast. This is the first time that I've done a December daily on YouTube. Um, I've made an album for a December daily, but I didn't do it the way that it like is traditionally thought of when you think of a December daily. Um, but then again, I didn't do this one like it either. So, I mean, I'm all about breaking them rules, man. Wait. All right. So I didn't read this quote to you guys. I actually did. And then I stopped and had to, um, delete the video and then try again because my doorbell rang and I ain't about all that editing stuff. And I had, I literally just turned the camera on and was like, Hey, and that was about it. So I was like, man, I'm going to start over. So anyway, this on the 28th says everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. And I think that that is like so incredibly fitting because there are so many things that people don't do in life because they're afraid of the outcome. Like I know that this is probably not the best example, but my eight year old daughter doesn't do a lot of things because she's scared. She's scared of what might happen. And I'm trying to get through to her, like, you're never going to do anything in life if you are just always so afraid of the outcome. Like, you'll never do anything. So I'm trying to get her to understand that you have to sometimes just take a leap of faith that everything is going to be okay. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, these came in Happy Mail. Um, they came from Miss D. Miss um, Melissa's mummy, and I got these actually at Joanne's on clearance. Um, and I was, I just put them in here to save for next year, but they're here, and I like them. He's pretty. So I kind of need my quote though. Where's my quotes? 
I pulled a couple out. And I have one very special one for the 31st. For this one. We'll get there in a minute. So let's see. Um, oh my gosh. I cannot pronounce this guy's name. Um, Maya Monades. Maya Monades. Maya Monades. Maya Monades. He's like a prof he's very um well known um in a community. I just don't know which one. <laughs> I actually looked up to try to figure out how to say his name before I got on here and I I saw her and said it like 17 times and I I still can't say it. Anyway, um, I really liked this particular phrase. It says, teach thy tongue to say, I don't know, and thou shalt progress. It's pretty profound, um, that quote, uh, because it just, it talks about how if you're willing to admit that you don't know the answer, you have a lot of room to grow. The people that are always have the answers for everything are the people that don't have room to grow. Okie dokie. So hopefully that's not a big like um, glitch. I'm going to do my best with editing and smashing a bunch of pe pieces together. I did it once on the vlog. Not my favorite thing to do, which is why I don't do editing. Um, anyway, I'm going to ink this because I think it would be pretty. Um, so anyway, I had to pause, uh, because one of my son's friends knocked on my door, which for those of you who don't know, my front door is right there. So, um, I had to go get him and let him know that he's not going out to mess with, you know, playing around in the neighborhood or anything until his schoolwork is done. Because he decided he didn't want to do his schoolwork today and he was playing on his video games. Because, I mean, to be fair, every other kid in the neighborhood's on winter break right now. So, I mean, I get it. He's not. He doesn't, he doesn't have that. He's got homeschooling. So, he is not on a normal schedule. He gets off for the actual holidays. But, not for... Like, instead of having a two-week break, he has, like, a six-month break. So, um, anyway. I wonder what you would look like if I inked you, too. I already have glitter all in my ink pad. What's a little more? So, anyway. I know. I'm a mean mom. I tell people all the time I'm not a nice person. I don't think they believe me. I try to tell him though, because my son, I'm sure he's just like, you're not very nice. That's okay. My job isn't to have you like me. My job is to make you a productive member of society. I have a friend of mine. Um, her name is Jen. She's not in this community at all. Um, I actually met her in Hawaii. Um, on a military base that we were on as well. Anyway, um, her husband is one of those dads that, uh, he'd rather the kids be friends. Like he'd rather them be buddies. And I told Wayne one day, I mean, I love him to death. He is a wonderful, wonderful person. He's a great dad. But I told Wayne, I was just like, you know, I'm glad you're not their friend. Because it makes reprimanding them that much harder if, you know, they're your buddy. You know? Alright. So. Let's see. We've got some doily action here. Put you there. Let's see. What else do we got here? No, um, something vintage -y.
He's in a mitt one. Oh, there's a deer. So another Santa head. Because I'm sure you guys aren't sick of Santa yet. Oh, I like that. It's pretty. All right. Um. All right, so I might actually have to pull out the wet glue. Then again, maybe not. So, all right, we're gonna go around in a circle or giant X or T or you know, what else. All right. Okay, so how many of you guys like watch and rewatch the same shows over and over again? Anybody? Uh, because I am working, let's see, uh, Game of Thrones, I watched twice, except for the last season, because the last season was bad. Um, but Game of Thrones, I watched twice. Um, The Walking Dead, I actually, I haven't watched it twice yet, but I do plan on starting over and rewatching that one. That's, that's one of my faves. Um, and then Grey's Anatomy, I've watched, I'm actually on my second time around with that one. And I think I'm on season four. Or the end of three. I don't remember because Grey's Anatomy has got a lot of episodes in each one. It's like they started out like season one with a normal amount of episodes. And then after that, they started putting like 95 episodes in in a season. It's kind of funny. Oh, okay. Well, we're going down there. Yep. There we go. All right. I like this. That's pretty. Okay. So that's the 29th. And then, gosh, I have no idea what my time is. I just, I really, really, really hope that it's not so bad. Um, I'm going to fold this in half-ish. And we're going to put it right there. Just like that. And yes, that is another Santa. Oh, we could put him down here. I like that. Let's do that instead. All right, so let's go with the wet glue. I know, I had to do it. I had to bring it out. Only because I want to make sure that it sits inside the little crease. I think my husband is home. He is. It's so sad. I can barely see out my window. I've got so much crap on my desk. Now I've got so much crap on my floor. I have stuff everywhere, man. It's crazy. And there he is now. And hopefully he will quiet the dog down because the dog is crazy. All right. Okay, he's just going to go hush at her. <laughs> yeah, um, the dog goes absolutely insane when he comes home. 
it's a little ridiculous. This is actually from a bag. Okay, I like that. I'm just going to kind of cut it right here. All right. There we go. All right. And then... Lego. Oh, Lego. By the way, these tape guns are amazing. Um, I started using them when I was making the photo albums and they're awesome. They're very, very quick and really amazing for paper crafting. Like I wouldn't really use them necessarily for like adhering beads or something. Um, but they're pretty, pretty awesome. And depending on the laces, you could probably use some of the double sided tape for uh, the, the thinner laces. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I know I have seen other people do it before. Um, I personally have not tried it. So, where's the other one? Where'd you? Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, so this one says... Okay. <clears throat> you ready? I like this one. It says, I've been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Being willing is not enough. We must do. And that's from Leonardo da Vinci. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Um, it's a Christmas tree here. Let's put you like I want something underneath here, I think. Um Oh, there's a heart. Let's put you over there. That's my Valentine's stuff that's over there. It's coming up. Mm. These are all numbers. I don't want those. I need something and I don't know what. You're pretty. I like you over there, actually. All right, let's put this down, see what happens. Scooch, scooch. Oh, I think I might have to go to the doctor. <laughs> and that's a lot for me because I don't like going to the doctor. But I haven't had migraines in a minute since, um, I'm going to give it a little while. I'm going to give it a couple weeks. Um, but I haven't had a migraine in a very long time since I've started eating properly. Right. And, um, I've been getting them for the last couple of days, like nonstop. And so I think I want to, Put something right here. What do I want to put right there? Yeah, I'm just going to glue it down. Anyway, um, and I think it has a lot to do with what I've been eating over the holidays because I have not been eating great. I mean, it's the holidays. There's, there's sweets and I don't know about you guys, but I like my some sweets, some cookies and oh my gosh. Um, 
Miss Esme um, was doing a, a live on her Facebook group where she was making uh, Mexican wedding cookies. Oh my goodness. I made two batches of those and I'm pretty sure I ate both batches myself. Pretty sure. Um, because oh, they're so good. Anyway, uh, the first batch wasn't really that great because I don't think I fall in the directions. <laughs> but the second batch, I paid closer attention to the directions and ooh, it turned out so, so good. And, um, but anyway, I think that all of the, you know, refined sugars, processed foods and such like that, that I've been eating over the last several weeks have really started catching back up to me because I've been having migraines again and I don't like it. I like it better when I don't have migraines. Because I feel like poop, I don't want to do anything, I don't want to move, and which like is very the opposite of how I've been, you know? I'm constantly moving, I'm eating good, um, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's just all around better. And then when I have a migraine, it just kind of knocks me on my butt. And so, like right now, it's... 4.30 Wednesday, and this is going to be going up Thursday. Normally, I would have videos up for you guys for days like this when I'm just like, oh my God, <laughs> but nope. Um, it's, it's a little rough when it's like, bam, bam, bam. Like I've had the same migraine for three days. Like it's pretty gnarly. All right, so this is the last page. This is the 31st. I have no idea what our time is because I paused it and this is the second clip, but this clip is at 15 minutes. I can't imagine that the other one is too much longer, but this one is not the right colors, but I don't care. It says, in, and this came out of a paper pad um, that I was messing around with um, for my Valentine stuff, but it says, in every woman, there is a queen and I loved that so much that I wanted to play with that. Now, actually I might, I might actually be able to use this, um, at, and have it match. Cause I'm going to use it regardless. I don't care. Like it's mine. I don't care if it matches. Like I might, um, we're going to put this over here. We're going to use that later. All right. Come on. Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Um, the problem is, is I have too many of these bags all over the place. Uh, there it is. Oh, found it. Okay. So, I haven't used a lot of this particular kit because I didn't do a pink Christmas, but I think that it might work out well. Look at that. There's even a Santa. Like, okay, we'll do a Christmas tree and Love the giver more than the gift. I like that too. We're going to use both of those because it's the last day. Why not? Oh, and dream. Oh my gosh. That's perfect. This is like for you with love, joy. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. There's little tiny flowers down here. I might use those. Come here, little tiny flowers. All right. There. So I do need to color up my pieces because I am not very good at fussy cutting. And I'm going to hide my imperfections with ink. 
Um, eventually I'm going to get to where my Cricut, um, where I can like print things out because this particular pot isn't a digital, but I do have one that's similar to this um, that I bought from my porch prints. She had a pink Christmas. And then there's also um, Miss Daisy with Tsunami Rose. She also has a pink Christmas. There's a lot of people that have pink Christmases. Um, well, there's a lot of people that have Christmases. Um, like the, because a lot of the, the, I can't even talk right now. My head hurts so bad. Um, a lot of the people that do digitals regularly, they have the, the holidays up before the actual holidays. That way you can get your projects in and whatnot. Like I actually have Valentine's up right now. I have um, vintage Valentine's cards. And the way that I did it, because I have some people say that they'd rather have the smaller pack so they can pick and choose. So I actually did both. Um, I did it to where you can grab the, um, the sheets individually. And I also have it to where you can just grab the whole pack. Now, if you do the whole pack, it is a little bit less expensive. Um, not by much. It's just, it's a tiny bit less expensive. But you'll get all of them instead of just, like a couple. All right, so I'm gonna see and see if I can't figure out a something to go back behind this stuff. Um, hold that thought. Because I don't really want, I could use black actually because black might work really well because it's in my little quote that I want to use. Um, and my little quote has pink as well. There's another little flower. All right. Um, hold that thought. Mirror. Okay. So, could do green. Mm. I'm not sure if I like that. Hmm. Okay, that might be a thing. All right, so let's put this one down before I change my mind again. <gasps> That's not funny. Seems funny to me. So that would be my husband. For those of you who do not know who he is or what he looks like, he enjoys sneaking up on me, especially when the camera's on. Um, when I used to do the lives, um, people would call him Mr. Smoochie. Because he always gives me kisses. Always. He doesn't care if the camera's on or not. He always gives me kisses. We have been married for 15 years. I didn't think I was that old. Oh my gosh, 15 years, my goodness gracious. So we've been married for 15 years and we have been dating or together for 17 and a half years because we, um, we were dating for two and a half years before we got married.
Okay. And yes, I changed my mind with that again. <laughs> you weren't supposed to notice. All right, so I've got green here. That might be nice. I don't think I like the green. What about the white? Okay, I like the white. What about the black? Where are you, black? It might actually be too much black. You know, I don't think it is. All right. Good. So I like black. And this glue in this bottle is Fabri-Tac. A lot of people ask me what glue I use because, well, it's not in a normal bottle. It is in one of my decorated bottles. I do have one currently on the shop. Um, I do take special custom orders, but I only take them one at a time. So I'm not going to take like 17 custom orders all at once because that would overwhelm me very quickly and I enjoy my job I would like to continue to enjoy my job all right so this is probably going to be another craft with me video, if you will, um, because uh, this particular section is already uh, past 20 minutes and I still have the whole other section to add to it. So it's probably close to an hour long. Um, but what I was thinking about doing is um, like from here on out is doing maybe one or two hour long videos a week and maintaining the rest uh, 20, 20 to 30 minute videos. That way I don't have YouTube yelling at me that my videos are too long. Um, and they don't yell at you. They just, they tell you that the algorithm is like, oh, people like shorter videos. Well, my people are telling me they want longer videos. So I don't know what you're doing. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Oh, aren't you pretty? Okay. Okay. Oh, we can put some over here too. On this side. And all I'm doing with this inking is taking off the stark white. That's it. I'm not trying to go for like a super vintage G look or anything like that. It's just taking off the white. That's all. And you're upside down. It's going to make me touch the Fabri-Tac. I literally just got my nails done today. Oh, I like this. This is so pretty. Okay. And that's actually it. So, um, in the next video, I will do a final flip through of, um, 
the 2020 December Daily. So thank you guys so much for watching me and joining me on this journey. I really, really liked this. This was a lot of fun. I do like how it's different and yet the same. It's like my own little twist on a December daily. I really, really enjoy it. And I think that I will find a lot of use for it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.